Welcome to Hump Day Quickie number seven. Uh, we're gonna go all over UCSs, user coordinate systems. Uh, I have a specific reason why I use it, more so than maybe some other people do. Most people use a UCS to straighten out their, their project, project, but it could be a tool for much, much more. The, uh, the way I use it generally is if I'm, if I'm lacking on control or I don't have a tool station with me and I have ground control provided by a survey company or, or me previously or my guys, uh, what I have or I can make on any job site in the world is uh, a plywood box, a perfectly square plywood box. And what you do is you put a nice sharp corner of that box down on the control points on the ground and then you go post process inside like a register 360 and you can find those corners really easily and really accurately. Let's take a look. So here we are inside register 360 from Leica Geosystems. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure we're inside of a bundle cloud and then we want to find the area we want to work on. Then find the UCS tools in the top right. Those will not show up if you're not in the right cloud. So the first one that pops up is by pick point. You can leave it at 000, or if you have a UCS that you're used to working with, you can type that in here. I'm typing in a 1,000, 3,000 with a 100 elevation. Um, we can go some other time into why those numbers are important, but nominal. All right, so once you have those typed in, you can double click on a point and that's going to set sort of a rotation point. Now it's not going to do any algorithm, it's going to select the exact point that you double click on. Then grab the fencing tool, fence out an area that's flat, double click on it and it will create a plane and set either the X or Y to that. You have to choose which one you want. So if this is what we wanted to do, we could hit create here and be good to go. We're gonna hit reset and then we'll look at the next one, which is by plane. Now by plane is essentially what we just did, but only half of it. Meaning we're not gonna select a point this time. We're gonna go ahead and just do a plane and we're gonna basically square up the job to make it easier to work with. I use a polygon tool this time just to kind of get that angle. And we'll switch it to X plane. Double click on it, it creates a plane and if this is like what we liked, but it actually looks good, we could hit create and be good to go. We'll hit reset again because this is the tool I actually want to show you guys. So if you pick by corner, you have the, the option to add northing and easting and elevation here, which is cool if that's what you want to do, but what you want to do is you want to find a place where there is two vertical planes and one horizontal plane and double click on it. It will create a vertex at the center of those three planes, or at, it'll create a vertex at the place where those three planes intersect each other. Now, if you want, you can double click on one of those planes and set an X or Y axis if you want to, and then hit create. And this is what I really want to show you guys and why the box come into play here. Because what is left is a vertex, which is a control point. So if you have your ground control point, if you have the X, Y's and Z's of that, you can import it, align it to these points that you find with using the box, and it is, I would say, just one step right under black and white targets. Again, you know, you can align your BIM and stuff to it. Again, the black and white targets or spheres are going to be top of the line for aligning anything. You, you import those separately from the BIM, everything comes in separately and ties together and you can compare them without manipulating any data. This is, this is just when you have to get things done, this is just another workflow to help you get through that, the hump of, of what you need to do. All right, if you guys have any other questions or anything, feel free to leave them below. If you guys have suggestions for what we want to do next, we're all ears. If you like what we're doing, hit that like button. Let us know that we should keep on going. Uh, all right. Until next week. Also, feel free to reach out to us anytime at lightaholics.com. My email is mac at lightaholics.com, so it's pretty easy. Uh, also, scan this QR code. It gives you all of our direct contact link info. So feel free to reach out for any of your needs. 
uh, we're here for you and we love talking about LiDAR.